And thus the Lord commanded the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who dwell on the earth, and said, Open your eyes, and lift up your horns if ye are able to recognize the elect one. And the Lord of spirits seated him on the throne of his glory, and the spirit of righteousness was poured out upon him, and the word of his mouth slays all the sinners, and all the unrighteousness are destroyed from before his face. And there shall stand up in that day all the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who hold the earth, and they shall see and recognize how he sits on the throne of his glory. And righteousness is judged before him, and no lying word is spoken before him. Then shall pain come upon them as a woman in travail, and she has pain in bringing forth when her child enters the mouth of her womb, and she has pain in bringing forth. And one portion of them shall look on the other, and they shall be terrified, and they shall be downcast of countenance, and pain shall seize them, when they see that Son of Man sitting on the throne of his glory. And the kings, and the mighty, and all who possess the earth shall bless and glorify and extol him who rules over all, who was hidden. For from the beginning the Son of Man was hidden." And the Most High preserved him in the presence of his might, and revealed him to the elect. And the congregation of the elect and holy shall be sown, and all the elect shall stand before him on that day. And all the kings, and the mighty, and the exalted, and those who rule the earth, shall fall down before him on their faces, and worship, and set their hope upon that Son of Man, and petition him, and supplicate for mercy at his hands. Nevertheless, that Lord of spirits will so press them, that they shall hastily go forth from his presence, and their faces shall be filled with shame, and the darkness grow deeper on their faces. And he will deliver them to the angels for punishment, to execute vengeance on them, because they have oppressed his children and his elect. And they shall be a spectacle for the righteous and for his elect, They shall rejoice over them, because the wrath of the Lord of spirits resteth upon them, and his sword is drunk with their blood, and the righteous and elect shall be saved on that day, and they shall never thenceforward see the face of the sinners and unrighteous. And the Lord of spirits will abide over them, and with that Son of Man shall they eat and lie down and rise up for ever and ever. And the righteous and elect shall have risen from the earth, and ceased to be of downcast countenance. And they shall have been clothed with garments of glory, and these shall be garments of life from the Lord of spirits. And your garments shall not grow old, nor your glory pass away before the Lord of spirits.' 